technology is reshaping our lives. It dramatically changed the way we live, the way we learn, the way we work, and the way we communicate. Technology has tremendous potential to connect us with one another. But there are still people who remain unreached, disconnected, and deprived of digital opportunities. TechFred Centers serve as hubs that enable skills training and job opportunities. We have more than 4,000 registered users and about 67% are women and majority composed of students as our beneficiaries. And why women? Because we are gender responsive, so all our programs are aligned with the gender and development program of our province. Na tutunan ko yung ibang skills na dapat sa ibang schools na dapat per years dapat i ano ma ano man lang dito na mabilisan ng mga months, mga three months, mapan mo alang agad tapos para work agad. This program helped me by finding a job and of course gaining more confidence as well. I was able to gain knowledge about the BPOs. Um, on how does the environment work and how am I going to interact with um, my future customers before. As of now, as I was the call center agent, so I see that difference because as of now I'm earning, uh, I'm earning more than I, am, I have earned uh, before as a tricycle driver. Good afternoon and welcome to the webinar series of Negros Occidental Language and Information Technology Center on Visual Graphic Design and Animation. This is Visual Graphic Design Webinar 4, 27 Blend Modes in Adobe Photoshop CC. Blending modes have always been the most creative and experimental part of work uh, to work with as it is nearly impossible to predict the result. So they say that you will always end up using different modes until you get the perfect effect on the image. So today in this webinar, we'll be diving deeper into detailed description of various blending modes. The focus of this webinar will not only show you how blending modes work, but rather than it will revolve around the extra explanation of each blending mode. So I know this sounds appealing and exciting to you all, but before that, before we start this webinar, let us pause for a moment, say a prayer to be followed by the singing of National Anthem and the Negus Hymn. O labing makagagahom nga amay namun sa langit, Mahinuklugon nga laon nga tagtugas ang langit, hangin, kalayo, tubig, kagduta. Tanda ining imong timawa, kabay ining pag-ampo, magadulot sa amon sa kabuhi nga himaya. Salamat sa mga bugay nga imogin paambit sa amon. Salamat sa kabuhi nga ginadulot mo sa amon nga himpit. Salamat sa maayo nga panahon kag ilabi na gid sang imo katutom sa amon. Bendisyon ni ang imo katawhan. Bendisyon ni ang ila mga palangabuhian. Bendisyon ni ang mga panggas sa amon mga talamnan. Bendisyon ang ilang nga paglugayawan sa iban nga kapungsuran. Kabay, makalabot sila nga walay sablag sa ila pagapadulungan. Kag ila binagid, bendisyon ining isla sang negros nga amon na tawahan. Pinahalad namon ang ining pagampo para sa imo kadayawan.
Noon pa man, malaki na ang naging bahagi ng mga kababaihan sa lipunang Pilipino. Kaisa sila sa marubdob na paghahangad ng kalayaan ng ating lahi. Kabilang sila sa paglinang ng ating makulay na sining at mayamang kultura. Kasapi sila sa pagtataguyod ng mga adhikain ng kapwa mamamayan at sa pagtugon sa mga pangangailangan ng lipunan. Katuwang sila sa pagtuklas sa mga larangan ng agham at medisina. Kapanalig sila sa pagpapairal ng batas, karapatan at katarungan para sa lahat. Kapahagi sila sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sa pagpapanatili ng demokrasyang Pilipino. Sa paglipas ng panahon, hindi nagmaliw ang kanilang pag-ibig sa ating inang bayan. Mga kababayan, ito ang alay ng mga kababaihang Pilipino para sa bayan. Tumayo po tayong lahat at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Hello there once again, my name is Sally and I am your virtual host. We at Knowledge are truly delighted to have you all joining us since the start of this webinar series. It really warms our heart that you took time off of your busy schedule to join us. I hope that you had a good night rest that you woke up with a smile on your face and with a grateful heart, knowing that today you will be learning something new. So this is a pioneering project of Knowledge Tech for Ed Center, and this is free. Knowledge also free training online, okay? And under the Negros Occidental Training for Work Scholarship Program through the Office of Governor Eugenio Jose Bong Lacson, under his seven-point priority agenda, Abanse, Negrense. This webinar is Nautis Tech for Ed Center in the province of Negros Occidental's 
contribution in this time of pandemic. Amidst the spike of COVID positive cases in the country, let us all stay at the comfort of our home, but at the same time enjoying the learning online by attending Knowledge webinars. So to join, all you need to do is to register once and you will be given access to the entire webinars. You need to sign up for your attendance at the start of this webinar and it will be open for only an hour. Again, the online attendance will be open until three in the afternoon. So please do it today. Do your attendance now. Scan the code flashed on your screen or click on the link at the description box. So that's it, the attendance link okay you got it and you're already signed you already signed up so i hope you do so and also to participate in the open forum you will need to post your questions through an online open forum form okay it's already flashed on your screen right now the qr code you can scan it if you have any questions and also it is located in the description box where you can, you can find it at the description box so you can click the link on that and we will also be providing digital certificates to those who successfully filled out the attendance and accomplish the online evaluation form. Again, that's two. You need to accomplish the online attendance and the evaluation form, which will be open after the webinar. The evaluation form will be open after the webinar and it will be closed until six in the evening. So I hope that's clear so if you are watching through facebook live stream please follow our page give our page a thumbs up and if you are watching or streaming through our youtube channel hit that subscribe button now so to welcome you all to this webinar let us have the leader who has a vision and knows how to turn her ideas into real world success stories. Our vocational school administrator and knowledge tech for and center manager, Dr. Maria Cristina Orbisido. Thank you, Sally. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome all our participants from different cities and municipalities in our province, and also our attendees from other regions, including those outside the Philippines. How are you guys? I hope you are all safe and sound. We don't want to compromise our health, our health, and the community at large. That's why we are doing this activity virtually. This webinar series is brought to you by the Office of Governor Bong Lakson to address the digital divide during this pandemic. This is our fourth webinar on graphic design, and I bet all of you are excited to learn about the 27 blend modes in Adobe Photoshop. Blending modes are critical component of using Photoshop for anything and everything. Whether it's graphic design, photo editing, or illustration, knowing how to harness the immense power of the blending modes is a necessity for improving your workflow and efficiency. But it can be intimidating for a lot of beginners and new designers. There's a lot to unpack and a seeming mountain of technical information to understand. Thus, this webinar will give you a practical guide to Photoshop blending modes, a simplified version to make you understand all things that you need to know for each mode. I affirm that you have made the right choice. You are on the right track in regularly attending this webinar. For me, learning is a continuous process and it entails a lot of dedication and practice. To hone your skills in Photoshop, this webinar series is not enough. You need to practice every day. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. Invest your time in productive activities while you are in community quarantine. Instead of being the problem, be part of the solution. Be resilient and help build our community, which is badly hit by this pandemic. We hope that you will enjoy this module. Again, welcome to this webinar. Let's stay safe, take care of ourselves and our loved ones. Knowledge inspire, knowledge cares, avance, negrense. 
Thank you so much, Dr. Arbicido. So you heard it right, guys. Invest your time in productive activities and be resilient. So I hope that uh, also stays with you the message of our school administrator and tech friend, Saturn Manager. So knowledge is not where it is right now without the unwavering support of our provincial government headed by our dear governor, Eugenio Jose Bong. So to give us his message on behalf of the governor, let us have the provincial guide, focal point system in charge, Ms. Mary Jane P. Castro. Pleasant greetings, everyone. On behalf of the provincial gender and development focal point system, headed by our governor, Eugenio Jose Bong Laxon, I would like to extend our congratulations to all the participants of this webinar organized by the Negros Occidental Language Information and Technology Center, headed by our innovative school administrator, Dr. Maria Cristina Orbicido, and supported by her dedicated staff. With the increasing cases of COVID-19 in the province and other parts of the country and the world, you learning at the comforts of your home or wherever you are where you have stable internet connection this knowledge and skills which you can use for future employment or your eventual business in the future as the action officer of the provincial GAD focal point system i am happy to note that our GAD budget is put to good use and is helping women, youth, and the marginalized sector in maximizing their potentials and in contributing to the economic development of their family. Also, Nulitsi is helping to change gender relations and improve the status of women in our society. Congratulations to Nulitsi and to all the participants for signing up in this course. I hope that you will complete the module, submit the requirements and evaluation so that you will be able to receive your certificates. Malipayon nga adlaw sa inyo tanan and abanse negrense. Thank you so much, Mang Jun. So you heard it, guys. Before we proceed to the most awaited part, let me acknowledge our active partners for this webinar. Mom Jennifer Wendeza of uh, Kamsi Binalbagar is always present, and I can see her name right now in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining us and for uh, allowing your tra trainees or students as well, uh, for inviting them to enjoy this webinar. Also to Sir Anthony Malabanan of Baga City College, thank you so much. We also have here from North Negres uh, College, uh, all the way to uh, from Cadiz City, thank you so much. And uh, of course, we also have here Sir Greg Bangkola of uh, Tabo National High School, uh, Ilog. Thank you so much for joining us. And all students from Kamsi Talisay, Kamsi Binalbagan, Bago City College, and uh, even Nunas Coast and North Negros College. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. They said that an artist not be born with great talent. Some just took interest in later on in their life. So there's one writer who said, you are not born an artist, you become one. Our speaker today discovered his creative potential later on in life. The world may have beaten it out of him or maybe someone triggered that creative awakening. But look at him now. He is one of the great, passionate and dedicated artists that we have. Without further ado, let us all welcome Mr. Ian Christian Antonio. Uh, thank you, Miss Sally, for your introduction. How are you, Sir Ian? Uh, actually, na bigla ako don sa ano mga sa introduction mo. <laughs> but right now, so. <laughs> but right now, uh, I'm really happy to sh to to again to share my my uh, my knowledge and also uh, all my expertise uh, in using 27 then modes in uh, mm -hmm. Adobe Photoshop CC. All right, 27. I, I am just curious, Ian. 
why not 30 or let's say 10 modes? Why 27? Ay, so actually, uh, doon sa pinaka-latest na ano po, na, na Adobe Photoshop, so mm-hmm. we have uh, 27 blend modes, the most na ginagamit talaga. Uh, pero meron pang tatlo yan, uh, kaso hindi naman, ano, hindi naman masyadong ginagamit. So 30 lahat, pero yung pinaka-common po is 27 po. Mm, all right, but this is the new version. In the previous version, there were only how many blend? I guess yung pinaka is uh, they got only 19. 19? Oh, well, okay. 19 na, ano, na, blend, uh, na, na, blend, na, na blend modes po. Okay. Then si Adobe hanggang, ah, uh, then nag-add sila ng ano, ng lima, then nag-add sila ng isa, and then ngayon, so we got uh, 27 blend modes po. All right, so I know they are all excited to hear from user Ian. So I'm giving you, you now Sally. the floor. Take it away. I thank you, Miss Sally. So uh, good afternoon to uh, to all of our uh, participants. So not here in not here in Negros, but also uh, in in some areas of uh, of of our countries. So I would like also to thank you so for ano for attending this kind of webinar. So we got uh ikapat na. So we got fourth uh webinar na in graphic design. So uh we have 27 then modes in Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay. So last time so we already discussed na yung basic na 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 paggamit ng ang Adobe Photoshop so na discuss naman natin yung ano yung paggamit ng adjustment doon sa ano sa sa Adobe Photoshop yung layer style then ngayon so actually this is a uh, medyo advanced na talaga na ano na na effects na tools kasi medyo complicated yung ano yung blending modes so but again ito yung ano yung pinaka secret talaga ng ano ng mga graphic designer so gusto niyo gumawa ng ano ng ng very appealing or something maganda talaga na ano na design so we have to embrace or something appreciate talaga yung ano yung blending modes okay so without further ado so i know uh, all of you are excited so let me share my ano my screen Okay. Oops. I right, so again so our objective is uh first is we have to understand so what is blending modes. So minsan is natin niglan natin yung ano yung terminologies. Pero actually is na uh, medyo hindi pa natin alam kung paano gamitin yung ano yung blending modes okay so akala natin kapag gamit ng ano ng opacity ng fill is nagbe-blend na yung ano nagbe-blend ng yung layers uh, pero hindi natin alam na meron talagang uh, effects or tools na, na para uh, effective yung pag pagbe-blend ng atin ng mga ano ng mga layers then ikalawa sa subjectives natin so uh, ipapakita ko sa sa inyo kung paano gamitin yung ano po yung yung blending modes then magsasample po ako ng isang photo manipulations then apply natin lahat yung basic tools yung layer style yung adjustment then at the same time so yung blending modes then dito makikita natin kung gaano talaga kaimportante yung ano yung blending modes doon sa pag ano sa pagdi-design Okay, so um, first is the uh, we have to define the ano the the blending modes. So sabi dito, so uh, blending modes takes the pixels of one layer and blends them with the pixels of another layer to create a com uh, a completely new effect. Okay, so again, so um, nanjan parin si layer. So dito parin nakapokus yung 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 effects. So dapat maruno parin marunong pa rin tayong gumamit ng ano ng layer. So mamaya so ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano nagwo-work yung ano yung blending modes. Then hindi ito ano, hindi ito applicable kung kapag isa lang yung layer. So dapat we have two or something more than or something multiple na ano na layers. Okay? So ipapakita ko mamaya sa inyo kung paano yung ano yung yung works ng blending modes pa. Okay? Then second, so become a powerful tool in many areas sa Adobe Photoshop including color adjustment then uh, and others. So so again so kanina uh, sabi ko kanina so uh, ito yung medyo ano yung pinaka secreto ng ano nung 
mga graphic designer sa paggawa ng design. So, kung like, like for example, itong background na ito. So, gusto niyong makagawa ng ganitong ano, ng, ng ganitong background. So, we have to embrace talaga yung ano, yung, yung blending modes. Okay? So, kung titingnan natin, parang isang layer lang. But actually, uh, yung layer na ito is uh, about siya ng more than 10 or 12 na ano. na layers. Then, yan, ginamitan ko lang po ng, ano, ng blending modes para makagawa ng ganitong design. Then, can be applied to any item in the layers, in the layers panel, including text layers, adjustment layers, and even groups. Okay. So, ganun ka grabe talaga yung, ano, yung Photoshop. So, sabi ko, so, kapag gumagamit kayo ng, ano, ng Adobe Photoshop, parang wala siyang, ano, siyang limitations. So, yung blending modes, so, kaya ya yeah, i-apply doon yung ano yung yung effects doon sa sa text natin doon sa shapes natin o di kaya doon sa image na gagawin natin okay then ikapat so we have excellent way to create non destructive effects so ito yung pinakamaganda so same din doon sa ano sa sa adjustment sa layer styles so habang nag-apply tayo ng ano ng ng effects So, wag matatakot na baka nasira yung original. So, non-destructive siya. So, anytime uh, pwede pa rin natin na ano, na, na retrieve yung ano, yung yung original na image natin. Okay? The next, so uh, tingnan natin yung overview muna ng ano ng blending modes. So, sabi ko kanina, so uh, nung uh, unang nilabas ni Adobe yung ano, yung Photoshop Uh, back in 1994, yung Adobe Photoshop 3.0. So, we got only 19 na, ano, na original na blending modes. So, we have normal, we have dissolve, darken, multiply, color point, then we have darken color, light then screen, color dodge, uh, lighter color, overlay, soft light, hard light, difference, inclusion, exclusion, hue, saturation, color, at saka luminosity. Okay? So, kung titingnan natin, parang medyo madami yung, ano, yung dapat natin na matutunan. Pero mamaya, so i-explain ko talaga ng, ng isa-isa para maintindihan yung halaga ng, ano, ng blending modes. Okay, so we got 19 on uh, back uh, in 1994. Then uh, in 2002, so medyo nag-upgrade yung Adobe. So, uh, <clears throat> so gumawa sila ng panibagong version. We got Photoshop 7. Eh. Then nag-add sila ng limang blending modes. So we have linear dodge, linear born. Then we have vivid light, linear light, then pen light. Then, okay, so in 2003, so we got CS, uh, Photoshop CS na. So nag-add sila ng isa. So we have hard max. Then in 2010, so in Photoshop CS5, so uh, uh, nag-add sila ng dalawa. So we have subtract and divide. Then currently, so sabi ko kanina, so we have 27 blend modes na or 30 blend modes. if you include the two extra blend modes for the paint tools and the extra blending mode for the layer groups. But again, yung tatlo is yung behind, yung clear, at saka yung pass-through. So parang hindi naman masyado ginagamit. So dito lang tayo po-focus. Dito sa 27 na blend modes. Okay? The next, how blending modes work. Okay, so Photoshop blends the pixels by performing a blend operation on each pixel on the blend layer against its current corresponding pixels in the base layer. Okay, so dapat kapag gagamit tayo ng ano ng blend ng blending modes. So dapat meron tayong tiyatawag na base layer. Okay? Then dapat meron din tayong tiyatawag na blend layer. So yung gagawin ni ano ni Photoshop. So yung dalawang uh, yung dalawang layers parang something uh ibe-blend yan or something i-combine niyan. Uh by each pixels. Okay? So kapag nag-zoom in ako sa ano sa Photoshop So, ito yung pixels. Okay. Parang small, tiny square siya. So, lahat yan. Okay. So, meron siyang something algorithm, si Adobe Photoshop, na every color yan, so, siya na yung, ano, yung bahala na magbiblend doon sa, sa isang layer pa. Okay. So, based doon sa napili natin na layer. Okay. So, ganun katindi talaga yung, ano, yung Adobe Photoshop. So, if you got uh, 10,080 pixels, Diyan, then most likely, so si Photoshop yung bahala na mag, ano, na mag, na mag-combine to something, mag-blend based on sa algorithm, yan yung, ano, ganun kadami yung, ano, yung gagawin ni Photoshop. Okay. Okay, the next, so, ito siya. 
So, like for example, if I got uh, layers, so yung base layer, ito yung nasa ilalim. Then we got blend layers. So, ito yung nasa itaas. Then yung result, okay, so yung result is makikita natin doon sa blend layer. Okay, so based the original color of the layer, the layer found directly below the blend layers. So, take note of that. So, dapat yung base is nasa ilalim talaga. Then, yung blend, these are the colors being applied to the base colors. This is the layer with the blend mode applied to it. Okay? So, it means kapag gumagamit tayo ng, ano, ng blend mode. So, dapat nasa kay blend layer tayo. Okay? So, again, so kapag uh, gagamit tayo ng effects, ng blend mode, so dapat nakaselect yung blend layer natin. Okay? So, hindi tayo dito ka-apply uh, sa iba pa. So, baka dito kayo nag-apply so akala nyo is well, hindi nagpa-function yung ano yung yung blend modes so talaga hindi magpa-function yan kasi dito kayo nag-apply so again yung result is makikita lang dito sa itaas then we have result is the resulting color which is the result after mixing the base and the blend colors okay so again so dapat uh, we got multiple layers to apply the blend modes okay Okay, so para mabigyan tayo ng ano ng something motivation sa paggamit ng ano ng ng blend modes. So ito yung mga examples ng ano ng 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 paggamit ng blend modes. Okay, so like for example, so they got uh, two layers. Okay, then yung result is pwede tayong makagawa ng ganitong design. Okay? So, kung titingnan natin, okay, so <clears throat> yung forest, so nagbe-blend siya. Okay, dito sa model natin. Okay, so ganyan ka-powerful yung blending modes. Okay, then next, <clears throat> that one, so same din. So we got multiple images like dito sa ano sa itaas. So kung titingnan natin dito sa, sa, sa hat niya, parang medyo ano, meron siyang mga fruits. Uh, or something, ano ba yan? So, parang fruits or di ko alam, baka uh, virus or something kung na virus na, ano, na image. Then, yung ikalawang image siya, so, we got a trees. Okay. Coconut trees. Then, nagbe-blend siya, okay, dito sa model nyo din. Okay. So, ganyan ka-purple yung blend modes. Okay. Then, next, <clears throat> kapag gagawa tayo ng logo, so, pwede naman natin gamitin yung, ano, yung blend modes. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin, so, makagawa tayo ng ganitong design using also the blend modes. Okay, so medyo uh, nagbe-blend yung uh, shapes. Then, ito yung output. Okay, so uh, like for example, yung green at saka yung yellow. So kapag pag-blend yan, so uh, makagawa tayo ng something dark na, na na green. Okay, so it means medyo uh, effective or something efficient yung pag-design natin. So, sa paggamit ng ano ng blend modes. Okay. So parang hindi na tayo mahirap, para hindi na masyadong mahirapan sa pag, pag sa paggawa ng ano ng design. Okay? Then next is <clears throat> like for example this one. So kung gusto niyo gumawa ng parang movie poster or something uh medyo maganda yung effects. So yung pinaka sikreto na diyan talaga, sana din yung uh, paggamit ng blend modes. Okay? Like for example this one. So sa mga effects. So um, kailangan uh, kailangan talaga na ano na gumamit tayo ng ano ng blend modes okay then for the text okay so ito yung plain then kapag ginamit natin ng blend modes okay so ito na yung ano yung results okay so ganyan talaga uh, ganyan ka ano ka, ka, ka appealing or something ka uh, ka importante yung blend modes okay So, group natin yan. Oops, sorry. So, again, papakita ko sa inyo kung uh, 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 paano gamitin yung, ano, yung blend modes. Okay, so by grouping, so we have to select all the layers. Then, uh, just uh, hold control. Then, plus uh, G. Okay. So, mag-group mag -group natin yung ano, lahat ng layers. Okay. So, we have lessons. Okay, so, ito lang yan. Then, mag-i-import ako. So, we have file, place embedded. Okay. Okay. So, import natin ito. Okay. So, ito yung 
27 blend modes. So actually para na, hindi na kayo mahirapan sa pag sa pag sa paggamit nito. So si eh, Photoshop gumawa ng uh, parang group na or something category ng mga blending modes. Okay? So we have normal, ito yung group ni normal. So we have normal, dissolved, then we have also darken, darken groups. Okay? Kung gusto mong gumamit ng uh, something dark uh something dark na effects so we have darken groups so we have darken a uh, darken we have multiply so we have color bond linear bond so we have uh darker color then we have also light then na lighten groups like kung yung effects mo is something more doon sa mga brightness or something lights so we have lighten screen color dodge so we have li uh, linear dodge then we have lighter color then we have contrast like yung bright so big uh, gawin mo something bright pa or something bright then yung dark is gusto mong gawin something dark pa get. so we have contrast group we have overlay soft light hard light vivid light linear light pen light then we have hard mix then we have inversion and uh, uh, at the same time we have cancellations okay so actually yung uh, dalawang group nito is uh, uncommon naman ito na ano so parang hindi naman medyo ginagamit na yung 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 mga mga modes na 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 ganito so we have pero we have difference exclusions subtract divide then we we have component okay so we have hue saturations color at saka yung uh, luminosity so yung pinaka common based dito sa 27 na mostly na ginagamit talaga so we have four lang so uh, we have multiply okay we have screen then we have overlay that same time we have soft light then yung iba parang uncommon na lang yan okay so ito yung apat na parang mostly nagagamitin niya talaga okay so hide okay so yung blend modes okay so naka-open na yung photoshop ko so actually makikita natin dito sa right panel bar ni adobe photoshop okay so if i select the player Okay, so dito ah, sa floating palette. So, we have uh, default na normal. Ito siya. Okay. So, if I click the drop down, so lalabas yung 27 na blend modes. Okay, so again, dito nyo makikita yung blend modes sa kay layers dito sa right panel. Okay. Sige, so try natin. So, mag-sample tayo. So, hide ko muna yung background. Okay, so unahin natin si ano, si si, si normal, yung pinaka-default ako. Okay, so gagawa ako ng shape. So change ko yung color. So okay, so again, so sa paggawa ng shape, so select lang yung shape shape tool dito sa left panel, dito sa toolbars. Then just ano lang ng just hold left click lang and drag. Then kung gusto nyo yung something proportion, just hold shift key lang and drag. Okay? Then if gusto nyo palitan yung kulay, so we have dito sa layer, so just double click lang. Then lalabas dyan yung color picker. Okay? Like for example, so papalitan yung kulay ng green. Okay? Oops, sorry. Okay? So we have red. Then, okay, gawa ko ng another na, ano, na layer. Okay, then try natin palitan yung. Okay. So, mag-resize is just control P lang. Then, lalabas dyan yung path. Then, yung ano, resize na yung shape. Okay. Then, papalitan natin ng kulay. Okay, so like for example, we have green. Okay, then. Okay, so yung pinakauna is we got normal. Okay, so... If you try to see, so normal is not interact to each other. It's just like a piece of paper, okay? So parang ano lang, hindi natin ano, parang ano lang. So yun, yan yung pinaka-default. So parang natural lang. So walang effects, okay? So yan yung ano, yung yung normal. Okay. The next is, try naman natin yung dissolve. Okay. So click yung dissolve. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin, parang same sila ni normal. Parang walang nangyari. Okay. But again, so, kapag gagamit tayo ng ano, ng opacity. Okay. Okay. 
Oops. Zoom in tayo. So, para makita. Okay. So, ito yung 100% na opacity ni Dissolve. But, if I make it uh, lower than 100%, so, dyan natin makikita yung effect ni Dissolve. Okay. So, the more the effect yung yung shape, so, the more na makikita natin yung tinatawag nating noise. Okay. So, para siyang, ano, parang uh, small dots. Okay. So, it means kapag gagamit ako ng, ano, ng brush to. So, okay. So, let's delete this one. Okay. Okay. So, gawa ako ng panibagong layer. So, gamit ako ng brush tool. Ito yung brush tool. Then, okay. So, adjust ko lang yung size. Okay. So, ito yung size. So, makikita naman natin dito sa itaas. Kay control panel. Then, I will make zero yung hardness. Okay. Okay. Oops, sorry. So, okay. So, adjust ko lang yung size. Change ko lang yung kulay. So, I will make it to red. So, para makita natin yung effects ni dissolve. Okay. So, nakasero yung hardness natin. It means, so, gumawa si brush tool ng something feather type na brush, yung smooth. So, from transparent until such time, naging sharp yung kulay. Then, try natin gamitan ng dissolve na, ano, na blending modes. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin, so, zoom in ako by holding Alt, then scroll up to zoom in Photoshop. Okay. So, dito, sa, sa transparent na ano na na effects ni brush tool so medyo in spaces ng noise natin is yan makikita talaga natin but kapag sharp yung ano yung kulay so kung titingnan natin so parang walang effect yung or something hindi natin makikita yung noise na tinatawag okay so yan si dissolve so again so si, si dissolve so makikita niyo lang effect kapag medyo transparent yung ay yung yung kulay ng shapes o di kaya ng image na ginagamit natin o di kaya o nag-apply tayo ng opacity okay so diyan natin makikita yung effect ni dissolve okay oops sorry okay the next okay so okay na tayo kay normal try naman natin yung darken groups okay so first sa dark sa darken so we have darken okay so try natin yung effects ni darken so again so mag import ako ng image so import ako ng gradient okay so rotate ko lang using move tool then okay adjust ko lang siya oops sorry Okay, hold shift ako, then scale ko lang. Okay, so, delete ko na yung, yung unang layer. Okay, then apply ako ng adjustment. So, click ko dito yung effects ng adjustment. So, makikita natin sa ilalim ni layers. Then, apply ako ng solid color. Okay. Then, try natin si darken. Okay. So, hide ko muna. So, Si Darken, so actually will hide any pixels which is brighter in a uh, projective surface. So it means if we try to see, so gamit ako ng brush tool ha. So add ako ng layer. So like for example. Okay, so yung value ni black is... Okay, so like for example, so yung, yung value ni black is we got zero. Then, doon naman kay white. So, we got value na 100%. Okay, 100%. Then, in the middle portion, so we have gray. So, yung value niyan, so we got 50%. Okay. So, yung mangyayari, okay. So, like for example, is I got solid color. Then, check natin yung brightness. Okay. So, like for example, is Maglalagay ako dito ng 50, ay, 55 something. O sabihin natin 60 na lang. Okay, so 60. So, <clears throat> lahat ng ano, ng 
Okay, so kapag yung ano, yung yung projective project projective surface natin is uh, more than doon sa ano, sa sa 50%. Okay, so we got 50%, ito yung gray. So so yung more than na yun, so automatically so yung light or something yung white is uh, i, uh something i-hide yan ni ano, ni darken. Okay? So we got 60 so it means ito yung 60% na brightness hanggang dito lang. Okay, so gamit ako ng brush tool then Okay. So add ako ng layer. Okay, so it means ito yung 60% na value ni red kanina. Okay? So like for example, so we adjust naman natin. So what if kung gawin nating 40? Okay. So it means Okay, so kung titingnan natin, wala na yung 50. So, yung 40% is ni red is nandito na. Then, again, so lahat ng light dito is automatically, so hide yan ni darken. Okay, so ganun naman yung effects ni darken. Okay, so above 50% na light is hide ni darken. Okay. So, next is we got Okay, so na yung next. So we got multiply. Okay. So at least put to. Okay. Oops, sorry. Then. Okay. At least ko to. Okay. Then at least ko to. Okay. So for multiply, so sa pangalan pa lang is nandyan na. So medyo mer meron na tayong hits. So same din sa, sa, ano, sa process ng ginagamit nating multiplications. Okay, so think of black as zero. Okay. So, lapit ako ng brush. Okay, so change ko lang yung kulay into red. Okay, so add lang ako ng layer. So, again, so think of black as zero. Then, think of white is one. Okay. So, any value that <clears throat> multiply into zero, so it means we got zero. So, yung zero, so sabi natin kanina, yung value niya is black. Okay? So, black yan. Okay? Then, next is we got one. So, okay? So, multiply natin, okay, any value. So, equals, okay? So, the number itself, okay? We have value. Okay? So, di ba, sa multiplication yan yung ano? yung process ng ng multiplications. So dito sa multiply, so ganun din yung process ng multiply dito sa blending mode. So, okay? so like for examples, so I got that one, so mag-import ako ng image, so place embedded. So try natin this one. Okay? Okay. Then dito, okay, ito yung blend ah. Ito yung blend layer, then ito yung base layer. So it means select ko dito. So dito ako mag-apply ng uh, blending modes. So try natin yung multiply. Okay, so kung titingnan natin, so sabi natin kanina, so so any value that multiply into 0 is equals to 0. So yung value ni 0, so kanina is we got black. Okay, so kung titingnan natin, yung result, so automatically so nagiging black. Okay. So, hindi hindi nawawala yung black. I mean. Okay. Then, dito, so, we got, kanina, nakita natin, so, white yun. Ito siya, white. Okay. So, so yung value ni white is, we got 1. So, uh, anything that multiply 1 is, uh, uh, is the number itself. So, the answer is the number itself. So, kung titingnan natin, so, parang, okay. So, same lang yung, yung output ng ng image na okay na inimport ko dito okay so walang changes okay so yan yung multiply okay so another example so hide ko so like for examples okay so meron akong okay ganito na image then yung purpose ko is uh, gusto ko uh, wala yung ano yung background only the balloons lang so kung titingnan natin so we got uh, white na background. So, sabi natin, so, any, any value that multiply into 1, so, the number itself. So, it means, kapag gagamit ako ng multiply, so, automatically, okay, nawawala yung 
white na background. Okay? So, like for example, gagamit ako ng adjustment, yung levels. Okay? So, control L. And then, okay, adjust ko yung lights niya. Okay? So, kung naka-255 tayo, ito yung dark version ng image natin. So, kung titingnan natin, we got line pa. Pero kapag adjust ko yung ano, yung lightness niya, ito so medyo maliwanag siya. So, automatically, okay, nawawala yung background niya. Okay? So, ganun ka-powerful yung multiply. Okay? Then, you can also, like for example, you got gradient na tool. Okay? So, change ko into black and white. Okay? Oops, sorry. Then, we got, change ko yung type of gradients from linear to ellipse. Okay? Add ako ng panibagong layer. Oops, sorry. Okay? So, we got, okay, so again, Ah, okay. So, we got one. Oops, sorry. Reverse. Then, we got one. Okay. So, we got white. Then, we got black. Okay. So, gusto ko lang yung effects ng black. So, from gradient. So, change ko lang into. Multiply. Okay. So, makagawa tayo ng ganitong effects. Okay. Okay. So, yung white is automatically na-hide yan eh. Multiply. Then, yung black, yan yung, ano, yung natitira. Okay? Based doon sa formula ni multiply. Okay? Okay. The next is we got, okay, so we got color burn. Okay. So, actually, si color burn, so, ah, uh, well, <coughs> Okay, so, we'll add a uh, color, then at the same time, yung effects niya is something in the dark niya, okay? Sige, so, let's see kung ano yung effects ni Color Boy. Okay, so, gamit ako ng solid color. Okay, so, like, for example, okay, like that one, then gamit ako ng Color Boy. Oops, sorry ba yun. Okay, so you got that one. Okay, so kung titingnan natin, si Color Boy is, uh, okay, so nag-add siya ng kulay. Okay, na-add niya yung blue. Then the same thing, titingnan natin. So medyo nagda-dark yung, yung result natin. Okay, so si, actually yung blending modes, so we got uh, eight na special blend mode dito. So, uh, kung sabihin natin na, ano, na, na special blend mode. So, actually, it reacts differently on the opacity and fill. So, it means kapag adjust ko yung fill. Okay. Adjust ko yung fill. Okay. So, makagawa tayo ng ganitong result. Okay. So, iba yung result ni fill. Then, iba din yung result ni opacity. Okay. So, ito yung result ni opacity. Okay. So, ito naman yung result ni fill. Okay. So, compare doon sa ibang, ano, sa ibang blend mo. Like, multiply, yung dissolve, yung darken, yung normal. So, same lang yung, ano, yung opacity at saka yung. Pero, so, may, dito may, may, may tinatawag tayong na uh, eight special blend mo. So, we have color born, linear born, color dodge, linear dodge, vivid light. Okay? So, we have vivid light. Then, we have also linear light. Then, we have also hard mix. Then, we have also difference. Then, okay, so, we have also difference. So, sila naman is uh, if we use the opacity at saka yung fill. So, uh, iba yung effects ni opacity. Then, same time, iba yung effects ni fill. Okay? So, ito yung effects ni fill. Okay? So, okay? So, again, makagawa tayo ng ganitong effects using okay, color boy. So, nag-add siya ng kulay then at the same time, so, yung image natin, medyo nag-darken siya. Okay? Kasi si color boy is nandyan. Okay? Nakakategorize kay darken groups. Okay? Take that one. Okay? 
yung ay so yan si colorblind then sa colorblind kapag gumamit tayo ng ano ng white ay like for example meron tayong white ay so ay so ay so parang 100% ay so yung effects ng white is makikita natin okay unlike dito sa next okay so we have linear point okay ito naman yung effects ng linear point okay so yung linear yung linear point is actually parang same sila ni color point so yung different lang is kapag gagamit tayo ng kung meron i mean kung meron tayong white na color okay so yung white na color is hindi na naging 100% na white unlike, unlike kay color point okay oh nasaan si color point Okay. Si color boy, so si color boy yung white is na maintain niya yung 100% na white na color. Okay? So ganun lang yung different ni color boy at saka ni linear point. Ito si linear boy, then again ito si color boy. Okay. Then next we have darker color. Okay. Oops. Sorry. So Ay, so si darker color, ay, sinan so yung gradient ko. Actually, yung effects niya, so parang same sila ni, ano, ni, ni darken. Kaso si dark, ay, kaso si darker color. So medyo exage lang yung effects niya compared dito kay darken color. Okay, so let's try. So we have solid color. Ay, like for example, I get red. Ay, so ito kanina si darken color. So sabi natin is uh, beyond 50% yung brightness natin. Okay, so okay. So kapag uh ay, so kapag more than 50% yung brightness natin. So ay, so makikita natin yung ano, yung light na kulay. Okay, but if uh okay but if less than 50% so kay darken ito yung nangyayari so hide ya yung mga light and colors okay then okay so kay darker okay so medyo exage lang siya okay so lahat ng ano diyan parang uh, slim na dark na kulay so automatically hide ya ni darker color okay so yung i-maintain niya yung 100% na darker lang I mean, yung uh, naka 100% na black color lang. Okay? Ito si darken. Then, ito si darker. Okay? So, again, so yung effects ni darker is medyo uh, extreme lang compared doon kay darken call. Okay? So, actually, uncommon naman. Or something minsan naman ginagamit si darker. Okay? The next, so, punta na tayo kay lighten groups. Okay, so unahin natin si Lighten. Okay, so delete muna natin. So, okay, delete, 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 delete. Okay. So unahin natin si Lighten. So actually si Lighten, Lighten Groups, so uh, inverted lang yung effects niya kung precarded. So it means parang ano lang, parang ano lang, ng mag, mag, magkaiba lang yung ano nila. Oh, I mean, uh, parang ano, parang uh, different lang yung ano, yung effects ni ano, yung darken at saka ni, ay ah, yung darker, yung darken group at saka ni lighten group. So, okay. So, yeah, like for example, so papakita ko sa inyo. So, we have that one. So, gagamit ako ng uh, darken. So, sabi natin. So, if we got, uh, okay, like that one. So, we got 60% na ano, na brightness ng, ng, uh something uh, uh more than 50% ng ano ng ng brightness doon sa ano sa sa paste na kulay so yan yung ano yung ipapakita niya no ni ni Photoshop so kapag gagamit tayo ng ano ng light then, so lahat naman ng dark doon right so yan naman yung ano yung uh, O kanina, so sabi natin is ma-hide yung ano, yung light. So ngayon, so yung yung dark naman, yan yung yan naman yung 
mag-hike, okay? So, try natin. So, we got 60%, okay? So, talihin natin, adjust into, uh, sabi natin, babaan natin into 40%. Okay? So, mostly dito. So, yung kulay nila is medyo sharp. Then, dito naman, okay, ito yung, <clears throat> okay, Okay, change ko lang into red. Okay, okay, something green. Okay, so sabi natin, ito yung 50%. Then now, ito yung 48% na kulay ni red. Okay, so anina, so doon sa darken. So, yung nawala is dito sa top, yung light. So, subong kay light na naman. So, magkaiba sila. So, Ah, uh, yung yung ano, yung nawala naman so yung uh, dito na sa nasa ilalim naman. Yung mga <coughs> yung mga uh, dark na ano, na, dark na portion. Okay? So yan yan yun si light then. Okay. Then same din kay screen. So medyo ano lang, medyo uh, si screen is kanina doon kay multiply ay okay, so yung nawala is yung white ay okay. then ngayon ay okay, dito kay screen so ay okay. okay. so okay gamit muna ako ng eraser so erase natin ito so think of black naman as 1 ano naman yung 1 kanina is 0 siya then think of white naman to as 0. Okay. Then, so it means any value of say. Okay. So, any value that multiply into 1. So, yung result is the <clears throat> number itself. Then, ito any value of say. That multiply into 0. So, it means you got 0. Okay. So, yung nangyayari. Okay. So, magiging part ako. So, place ah uh, Place embedded. Import natin ito yung image. Okay. Then, ito si lighten. Okay. So, kanina is yung transparent kay multiply is we got black. Ah, yung, yung sharp pala. Yung naka, yung, yung pinakita lang. Then, yung na-hide doon kay uh, multiply dito sa itaas. Ngayon, kay light then naman, yung na-hide naman is dito sa ano, sa, sa ibaba naman, yung dark naman. Okay. Then, yung pinakita niya naman is yung white naman. Okay. So, it means if we have, okay. So, hide natin. Hide lang yan natin. Okay. Then, try hide natin. So, place embedded. Okay. Okay. Oops. Okay. So, normal. Place embedded. So, try natin ito. Okay. So, okay. So, sorry. Sorry. So, yung file ko is uh, di pala applicable dito sa ano sa Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so hanap tayo ng iba. Okay, so place in bed. Mm. Okay, so we got mm. Okay. So hanap tayo ng white background. So we got this, so we got the files. So we got this material. So, so we got. Oh, sorry. So we got log. Okay. So, like for example, this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. I will let it long ago. Okay. See. So, wait. Okay. Right. So. Okay. So, add tayo ng panibagong shape. Okay. So, that one. So, change natin into black. Okay. 
Then merge natin yung dalawa. Ay. Ay, like for example, meron akong ganitong image. Ay. So, uh, pag-download ko sa, like for example, pag-download sa, ano, sa internet. So, meron siyang black na, ano, black na, na background. So, okay. So, okay. So, kung gusto kong malist ng, ano, ng, ng, medyo mapilist yung, ano, yung black na background. Okay. So, gagamit lang ako ng, ano, ng, ng screen. Okay. So, kanina, kapag si multiply, so, kapag gumamit tayo ng multiply, then yung background is white automatically. So, na-hide yan ni, ano, ni Adobe Photoshop. So, ngayon naman, so, yung white, ay, yung black naman na background. So, kapag gumagamit tayo ng screen, so, automatically na-hide naman ni, uh, ni Adobe Photoshop. So, again, so, lahat ng effects ng lighting groups is inverted lang doon sa kay darken groups. Okay? So, okay. So, hide natin ito. Okay. Then, next is we got, okay. So, we got uh, color dodge. So, try naman natin yung, ano, yung, okay, color dodge. So, so we got that one. Then, like, for example, so, I got a solid color. Oops, sorry. So, kanina, so, ito yung kay Colorborn. Okay. So, nag-add siya ng kulay. Then, at the same time, nag-darken siya. Okay. Then, si Color Dodge. Okay. So, same din, nag-add siya ng kulay. Pero, so, medyo nag-lighten naman siya. Okay. Then, again, si Color Dodge is isa doon sa tinatawag natin special blend mode. So, it means nag-react siya differently doon sa opacity at saka sa fill. Okay. So, ito yung 100% nila. Okay. Then, babaan ko. Okay. Ito yung result ni color dodge. Okay? So, yung ano niya, yung effects niya is inverted lang doon kay color burn. Okay? Then, same din kay ano, kay okay, linear dodge. Okay? So, si linear dodge, yung different niya doon kay color dodge. Okay? So, like for example, I got another layer. So, I got white na kulay. Okay? So, ito yung kay linear dodge. Okay. So, kung titignan natin, so, namimaintain ni Linear Dodge yung 100% ng white na kulay. Pero kapag change ko yan into, ah, sorry. Kapag change ko yan, oops. Ay, sorry. Black pala, hindi white. Try natin black. Okay, delete muna natin ito. So, next layer. Ay, yan. Ay, ito yung <clears throat> Ay, ito yung effects ng color dodge. Okay, kung titanong natin, so yung black is same pa rin, so namimaintain yan ni, ano, ni, ni color dodge. Unlike dito, kapag change ko yan into linear dodge, okay, so kung titingnan natin, Okay. So, hindi na siya nagiging 100% na black. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin, so, actually, yung lighten groups at saka yung, yung darken groups is inverted. Yung effects ng lighten doon sa darken. Okay. Then, we have lighter color. So, si lighter color naman, so, medyo extreme yung effects niya compared doon kay lighten. Okay. So, hide muna natin dito. Okay. Then, add tayo dyan. Then, change natin yung effects ah, from lighter. Ah. So, ito si lighter. Then, ito naman si lighter. Okay? So, 50% uh, na, ano, na, na brightness doon sa projected natin na, ano, na surface. So, automatically kay lighter. So, uh, erase di yung, uh, yung uh, dark na portion. But, if we use lighter color, so, yung 100% na ano na black so automatically so uh, i-hide yan ni eh, lighter color so medyo extreme siya na version ni eh, light and color okay balik tayo dito okay so we got three three groups na so we got normal so natapos naman natin yung darken then 
uh, okay naman tayo kay Lighten Groups. Okay, so yung tandaan lang kay Lighten is yung lahat ng effects nito, kay Lighten, Screen, Color Dodge, Linear Dodge, Lighter Color, is inverted lang dito sa effects ni Darken. Okay? Then we have Contrast. Next. Okay? So, sabi natin, so si Contrast is it makes bright. Okay? So it makes brightening the brights and darkening the darks. Okay? So tingnan natin. So ito yung pinaka most na ginagamit talaga si Contrast. Okay? So, like for example, I got uh, that image. Then I got to use okay? so adjustment Like, for example, I got Corbs. Okay. So, kapag yung blend mode ni Corbs, so, it's a change ko yan into dito. Sa, uh, sa contrast ng groups. Okay. So, nangyayari. Ah, okay. Okay. Ito yung original. Yung wala pang blend modes. Then, ito na yung may blend modes na. Okay, using overlay. So, lahat ng brightness dito. So, tingnan natin. Parang naging extreme siya. Nagiging brightness talaga. So, yung lahat ng dark dito. Okay, from that one. From dull. So, nagiging extreme yung kulay niya. Okay? Yan yung function ni okay, ni okay, ni contrast. So, we got overlay. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo something, gusto nyo yung lagyan ng contrast ng image inyo so uh, aside doon sa adjustment so you can use overlay na blend modes okay? then another example like for that okay? so uh, most yung ginagamit yung nakikita ko palagi so like for example meron akong layer dito okay then to duplicate ko yan okay control j ko kasi yung purpose case lagyan ko ng contrast then yung blend yung yung blend layers okay yung top layers i mean So, applyan ko ng overlay. Okay. So, yan. So, nag a siya ng contrast. Okay. So, kung gusto nyo add ng contrast yung image nyo, so we got overlay. Okay. Then, we got soft light. Okay. So, si soft light, so parang mild version ni overlay. Okay. So, ito yung effects ni soft light. Okay. So, kanina, ito si overlay. Medyo extreme talaga yung contrast niya. Okay. Then, we got soft light. Okay. Then, yung maganda dito sa ano, sa kay soft light. Okay. Okay. So, kasi kapag, ano, kapag uh, yung kapag gumamit tayo ng ano, ng white at saka black. Okay. So, yung effects niya. So, parang gumamit na rin tayo ng tool na color dodge at saka bonta. Okay, so titingnan natin. Okay, so like for example that one. Oops, sorry. So, okay. So, gagawin ko siyang raster layer. Okay, so para mag mag-effect yung brush tool ko dito. Okay. So kapag gusto mo kapag uh, <clears throat> gusto niyo ng ano, gawin uh, raster layer, yung gagawin lang is right click dito. Then click lang yung Clusterized layer. Okay. So, para yung ano natin is hindi na natin magamit yung brush. Okay. So, we got that one. So, like that one. Gusto nyo di lagyan ng something. Okay. Contrast or something light. Okay. So, pwede kayong gumamit ng brush tool. So, we have uh, ano lang. Yung change lang into white yung preset. Then Uh, take note lang, dapat naka-supply kayo dito. Okay. Okay. Take that one. Oops, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> okay, take that one. Okay, so, pwede naman, babaan nyo yung opacity. Okay, for example, kung parang matingka talaga, so we got 30. Okay. Okay. So, yung effects niya, kung titingnan natin, parang same kay Dodge tool. Okay. So, kapag black naman, okay. So, gagawin ko siyang 100%. Yung effects niya, actually, is parang same kay burn tool. Okay. But, I'm using only blend modes lang. Okay. At saka yung brush tool. Yan. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we have supply. Okay. So ito nangyayari. Okay, so kapag uh, nandito ka tayo kay ano, kay light at saka niya uh, kay dark. So mag-add siya ng contrast. Pero kapag uh, 50% yung value niya, nandito kay gray. So yung ginagawa ni soft light is parang walang effects. Okay. So ganun pa rin. So nandun lang pa rin dun sa ano, sa natural. Okay. So yan si soft light. Then next is we got ano pa? Okay. So hard light. <clears throat> Okay, so pang hide muna natin. Parang medyo madami na yung layer. So hide, the hide. Okay, so normal. So hide ko mo. Delete ko muna ito. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay, not bad. Okay, so next natin is we got <coughs> hide light. Okay. So actually si hide light is parang same ni, of, ni, ni overlay. Kaso meron lang siyang uh, parang uh, faded na effects. Okay? So, like, for example, so, magda-duplicate ako. Then, dito sa itaas, okay, so, gagamit ako ng, okay, asterize ko muna. Sige, okay, so, smart object lang. Okay, gagamit ako ng effects na blur. Then, try ko yung gaysian. Okay. So, we have, oops, sorry. Sige, sabihin natin, we have branded blur. <clears throat> okay, so we have 300 reduced na, no, na pixels doon sa Gaussian Blur. Okay, then this time, so try natin yung hard light. Okay, so ito si overlay. Oops. Okay, so try natin, medyo pataasan natin. Gawin natin 500. Okay. okay. Ito si overlay, then... Ay. Oops, parang naglalag. <laughs> ay, so ito naman si hard light. Ay. So actually kung titingnan natin is parang same yung ano niya, yung effects niya. Pero so sabi ko kanina, so si hard light is yung medyo meron lang siyang faded effects compared doon kay overlay. Ito si overlay, then ito si hard light. Ay. So si overlay is medyo sharp siya. Then si hard light is meron lang siyang parang faded effects okay. then next is we got vivid light okay okay see. so <clears throat> try naman natin si vivid light okay. So, like, for example, I got that one. So, hide muna natin. Wala. Okay. So, back lang into normal. Then, this time, add ako ng gradient tool. Okay. So, gawa akong panibagong layer. So, we have black. Then, we have white. Okay. Napreset sa gradient. Then, yung type is Okay, we have linear. Okay, put that. <clears throat> okay, so for vivid light, okay, so any color which <clears throat> is not uh, very extreme, it's gonna leave 100% black as black. Then at the same time, it's gonna leave 100% white as white. Okay, so titingnan natin. So we have... Okay. Vivid light. Okay, adjust natin to. So, sabi niya, so, kapag hindi extreme daw, yung kulay, okay, like, for example, that one, so, okay, so, it's gonna leave 100% white as white, okay, then, it's gonna leave 100% black as black, okay, so, yan si, okay, vivid light, then, yung pinagkaiba lang doon sa kay linear light, so, does not keep 100% black as black and at the same time so does not keep as 100% white as white okay so it means kapag change ko yan from vivid light into linear light okay oops okay 
Okay, so we get one. Oops, sorry. Okay, so we get vivid light. Ito yung effects ni vivid light. Okay, so adjust ko lang yung... Okay. Try natin. Okay, one. So we get... Okay, vivid light. Okay, sorry. Then, change natin from vivid light into linear light. Okay. Okay, so kung titingnan natin, so medyo parang hindi na 100% yung white na. At saka same din doon sa black. Okay, so another example para makikita talaga natin. So, file place embedded. Okay, so desktop. Okay. Punta ako dito sa... Okay. Oops, sorry. Presentations. We get materials. Okay. So, try natin ito yung sunset. Okay. Then, hide. Hide ko dito. Okay. So, control P. Okay. So, adjust ko lang yung size. Okay. So, put one. Okay. So, change ko lang yung kulay. Gusto ko something orange. Okay. That one. Then, try natin. So, ito yung effects ni Vivid Light. Okay. Then, ito yung effects ni linear light. Okay. So, kay vivid light, okay. Titignan natin. Dito na version. At dito na area. At saka dito na area. Kung saan medyo maraming yung lights. At saka yung dark. Okay. So, something makikita pa natin. Kapag change ko yan into okay, linear light, so, automatically is uh, Wala na. So, more na yung orange na kulay. Parang nag-mild na yung lightness niya. Then, same time yung dark na area dito. Then, again, so, uh, vivid light at saka yung linear light is isa doon sa, ano, sa, sa special light blend modes na sinabi natin. So, it means kapag change ko yung, adjust ko yung, ano niya, yung feel niya. Ay, so, ito yung nangyayari. So, same din doon kay okay. linear light. Okay. So, nag-react yung, okay. yung feel na slider natin. Okay. Then, at the same time, dito is parang mild yung lightness at saka yung darkness. Okay. Then, next is we got pen light. Okay, so actually yung pen light is the combination of dark and light and blend mode. Okay, so papakita ko. So we got that one. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, so file. We got place embedded. So, ito lang ito. That one. Okay, adjust ko lang. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Shift. Okay. So, we got okay. image. Okay. Yung image case na sa ilalim. Ito yung base. Okay. Ito yung blend. Dito ko apply yung pen light. Okay. So, ito yung effects ni pen light. Okay. So, anina ito yung effects ni <coughs> lighten. Then, ito naman yung effects ni darken. Okay. So, like for example, okay, sige. So, hide ko yan. Sige, papakita natin yung effects. So, ito yung pen light. Okay, so change ko. Hide ko yung pen light. Okay. So, from pen light, okay, try ko yung light tech. Okay, medyo extreme siya. So, pabaan ko lang yung levels. Okay, gawin kong 1 to 8. Then, again, copy. So, this time, change ko sa into dark end. Okay. So, medyo extreme din siya. So, babaan ko lang yung effects. So, we got 1 to 8. Oops. Okay. So, we got 1 to 8. Okay. So, group ko. Okay. So, ito yung dark end. Change natin. Then, ito yung okay. light end. <coughs> Okay. 
Click mo na natin yan. Okay. So, hide ko muna. Ito yung effects na pen light kanina. Okay. Na blend mode. Okay. Then, dito sa group. So, ito na yung combination effect ni lighten at saka ni darken. So, kung unhide ko niyan. So, actually, same sila result ni pen light. Ito yung pen light. Ito yung dalawa. Okay. So, same lang result ni pen light. So, again, si pen light is the combination of darken and light in blend mode. Okay. Then, next, we have hide max. Okay. So, try natin si hide max. Okay. Pang hide muna natin lahat. Okay. So, place embedded tayo. Okay. Like, for example, that one. Then, next is... Okay. I'm sorry. Add ako ng shape. Okay. So, yung shape gagawin ko lang based. Okay. So, I drop ako. Gagamitan ko na. Okay. I guess. Okay. Kukuha lang ako ng ano. Ng ganitong medyo gray na kulay. Press ko lang okay. Then, si hard max. Okay. So, actually, nag-react lang siya doon sa 8 colors. Okay. So, kapag gagamitan ko ng hard max na effects, okay. So, we have, makikita natin is we have 8 colors lang. We have white, then we have black, then we have cyan. Okay. Ito yung cyan. Then we have magenta. Ito yung magenta. Okay. Then we have, okay. Then we have yellow. Okay, ito yung yellow. Then, we have also RGB. We have red, ito yung red. Then, we have green, ito yung green. Then, we have blue. Okay. So, we have CMY. Then, we have RGB. Then, we have white at saka yung black. So, any color, any color pa yan, kahit anong kulay pa niyan, kapag, kapag ginamitan na ng hard mix. So, again, so mag-react yan into uh, eight colors lang. Okay. So, like for example, that one. Oops, sorry. Okay, so try natin. So file, place embedded. Okay, next one. Okay, so add ako ng solid color. Okay, like for example, red. Okay, then gagamitan ko ng hard mix yung top na layer, yung red. Okay. So, yung ibang kulay, actually, hindi na natin makita. Okay. So, we have that one. We have red. Okay. Then, okay. Pag-adjust ko yung fill. Okay. So, we have, ayan. So, yung only na, yung only makikita lang natin is we have, uh, <clears throat> we have cyan. Okay. We have yellow. Then, we have red. Okay. Then, we have, meron siyang medyo magenta. Then, at the same time, we have black. Okay. So, in a, uh, kahit anong kulay pa niyan kapag ginamitan natin ng hard mix. So, again, so gagawin niya lang yan ng 8 colors. Okay. So, yan si hard mix. Nag-react doon sa 8 na kulay. Okay. Then, next, we got, ano pa? Okay. So, dito na tayo. So, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we got 8 na lang. Pending modes. Okay. So, we have inversion at saka si cancellations. So, I guess, uh, video, ano lang, bibilisan na lang natin. So, again, di naman talaga uh, common ito yung, yung apat na ito. So, papakita ko lang yung, ano, yung effects nila. Okay. So, hide ko muna. So, unay natin si difference. Okay. So, like, for example, so, we have ellipse. Okay. So, change ko lang yung kulay. Okay. So, like for example is we have red. Yung value niya is we got 50. Okay. Then yung green is we got 50. Then yung blue is we got. Okay. Sige. So, sabihin na lang natin. No? So, so, red is 150. Zero. Then we got, okay. Then yung blue is, okay. So, then, copy ko nyan <clears throat> by holding alt key. Okay. 
So, we got a point. Tawag dito. <clears throat> okay. So, yung value nung kinapi ko na ano, na shapes is the same lang. So, we have 150, 050. Then, yung base. Okay. Yung kung saan ko siya kinapi. So, we have 150, 0, at 50 din. Okay. So, try natin. So, we have ellipsed 1. Okay. So, try natin yung difference. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin. Okay. One, I drop natin. Tingnan natin yung value ng kulay. Okay. So, oops, sorry. Okay, so kapag ginamitan ko ng I drop. Okay. Yung value niya, so automatically so we have zero, zero, zero. Okay. So it means uh, same din doon sa ano, sa sa basic na ano, na na process ng difference. Okay, so yung difference ng base natin na layer na 150 050 then ay yung value pala natin na 150 doon sa red green 0 then doon sa blue na 50 then doon sa bland na 150 0 at saka doon then doon sa blue is we got 50 so kapag ginamitan natin yung difference so automatic automatically so lahat ng value doon ng dalawa is okay parang okay So, gagawin niya uh, parang ano, parang so parang same doon sa formula ng ano, ng difference. Okay, so it means yung difference ng 150 at saka nung 150 is bigat 0. Okay, then same din doon sa green yung difference ni 0 at saka ni 0 is bigat 0. Then yung difference ni 50 at saka ni 50 is bigat 0. Okay, so what if? Okay, so try natin yung isa. Okay, one So, what if? gawin ko siyang 200. Okay? Yung red. Then, yung red dito, sa kabila is we got 50. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung result. Okay? So, kung titingnan natin, yung difference na value na 200 doon sa red at saka yung value na 150 is we got okay? Yung difference is we got 50. Okay? So, parang same din doon sa, ano, sa basic na na formula ng difference. Okay? So, same din dito sa Photoshop. Okay? Then, we have exclusions. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Actually, si exclusions is parang ano, parang sorry, try muna natin para makita talaga. Okay. That's one. That's one. <clears throat> okay. So, actually, is nag-add siya ng kulay. Then, the same time, So, kapag nasa dark version tayo, so, hindi iyan mag, parang hindi mag effect yung exclusion. Okay? Yan. So, wala siya. Kapag, pero kapag, ano, kapag maroon tayong kulay, that one. Okay. So, nag-apply yung exclusion. Okay. Then, <clears throat> Same time, si exclusion actually is nagpapalo ng rules ng IGB at ng CMYK. Okay, so like for example, that one, change natin into blue. Okay, so kapag patasan ko yan ng, ng value ng blue, so kung titingnan natin, so, okay, so we have yellow. Okay, so based doon sa rules ng IGB at saka ng ano, ng yellow, okay, so yung inverted na, na kulay, ni blue. Okay, so we have yellow kapag nasa sa MY kita yo. Okay. So dim, same din doon sa kay ano, sa sa kay exclusions. Okay, so again kapag nasa black tayo, so hindi nag-affect yung exclusions. Then kapag medyo extreme yung kulay, so makikita natin yung rules na pinapalo ni exclusion yung rules ng IGB at ng CMYK. Okay? Then next is we got subtract. Okay. So Balik naman tayo doon sa shape. Okay. So, like for example, that one. So, subtract. Okay. So, like for example, I got 150. So, 0, oh Sabihin natin 50 dito kay green. Then, blue, kay blue is also, we got 50 na values. Okay. Then, dito sa itaas. Okay. So, sa red is we got 
sabihin natin is 200 then dito is 50 for green then 50 for blue okay then apply natin okay si subtract okay hina natin yung value okay so gamit ako ng another shapes okay gamit ako ng eye drop oops sorry okay so kung titignan natin nagiging black siya okay so yung nangyayari so Okay, so gamit ako ng brush para makita natin. Okay. Add ako ng layer. So, sabi natin. So, meron tayong value na okay, 150, 50, at saka 50. Okay. So, minus. So, we got 200. Okay. So, 50. So, 50. Okay. So, we got so zero, zero. Then dito, so nangyayari. So, si Photoshop is hindi kinoconsider yung negative. So, like for example, so 150, so minus doon sa 200. So, we got uh so we got negative 50. So, pero yung gagawin ni ano, ni Photoshop, so mag-set siya ng automatically zero. Okay? So, kapag titingnan natin yung value yan. So, nagiging 0, 0, 0 siya. Okay. Unlike doon kay difference. Okay. So, balik tayo. Okay. So, kung check ko yan, ito kay difference. Yan yung pinagkaiba nilang dalawa. Okay. Okay. So, dito. Okay. Oops. Ano ba yung layer ko? Okay, so, so dito we got value na red is 0, green is 0, then we have blue na 0. Okay, then dito, tingnan natin. So, we have green at saka we get blue. Okay, so, gamit ako ng eye drop. Okay, so dito, So, we got 50, 0, 0. Okay. Okay. So, we got 50. Then, we got 0, 0. Okay. So, okay. Ito yung pinag, ito yung major na difference ng ano, ng between difference at saka ng subtract. Okay. So, si subtract, so, again, so, hindi kinoconsider ni ano, ni, ni, ni Photoshop yung negative na value. So, we have 150 minus 200. So, we got value na negative 50. So, automatically, yung ano, yung output na ilalagay niya, ni Photoshop is we got zero. Okay. Dito naman kay difference. Okay. So, 150. So, different. So, what is the difference between 200? So, it means, syempre, so we got yung difference, yung differentia nila is, syempre, so we got Okay, so again, so huwag ma-confuse. Okay, so iba yung process ni difference compare kay subtract. Then for subtract, so kapag yung value is negative, so automatically, so gagawin ni Photoshop na zero. Okay, so yan yung pinaka-major na difference nilang dalawa. Okay, then next is, okay, try naman natin yung divide. Okay. Parang ano ah. Okay, so, okay, so, parang medyo tayo, ah, okay, okay, so, parang medyo, ah, uh, meron tayong ano, medyo, ah, 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 may mga formula, pero, ah, uh, don't, don't worry, okay, so, wag nyo na itong, ano, i-mind talaga, okay, so, yung purpose ko lang, ah, uh, para actually maintindihan nyo talaga yung, ano, yung pinagkaiba ng, ano, ng, ng mga blending modes, okay. So, when it comes to design, hindi naman tayo nag naggagamit uh, ng ano eh, na ng mga formula, okay? <clears throat> okay, so next is the get that one. So Try naman natin si divide, okay? So Dito din so medyo meron ng brace. Okay, so explain ko lang kung 
ano nangyayari kapag gumagamit tayo ng ano ng ng divide na ano na um, okay na versions okay so sige nang ano na lang ah so okay dito okay so ang common naman talaga ito <clears throat> okay so for divide is actually so yung tandaan lang so parang same din yung ano yung yung process ni yung yung process ni divide doon sa ano sa sa multiply yung yung pinagkaiba ya okay so ano ba yan okay so okay so yung pinagkaiba ito si multiply so yung yung ano yung minamaintain niya is yung yung dark number version okay dito na makai divide okay so instead na ano na black so yung ginagawa ni divide is ginagawa niya into light na versions. Into white. Okay. Yan na lang. So, yan na lang yung tandaan natin. So, hindi na tayong gagamit ng numbers. Kasi kapag, ano, kapag gagamit pa ako ng numbers, baka medyo, ano na, medyo makukonfuse na kayo. Okay. So, again, yung pinagkaiba ni divide is, uh, yung tandaan lang is, uh, parang same sila ni, ano, ni multiply na functions. Kaso, yung dark na, ano, dark na, na, na version ni, ano, ni multiply. So, kay divide is ginagawa niya into white na versions. Okay, so ganun na lang. Okay, the next is we got, okay, so apat na lang. We have U, saturation, color, luminosity. Okay, so actually we have adjustment naman dito. But baka, so uh, magagamit yung apat na ito. Okay. Sige, try natin. So, place embedded. Okay. Take for example that one. Okay. Okay. okay, so like for example, so meron kayong design na ano na ganito, then gusto nyo yung palitan ng kulay. So it means yung makakatulong sa inyo is isa na dito si you. Okay. So si you, okay, so okay. So like for example, ito yung you natin. Okay, so mag, kapag sabihin natin yung ano, yung yung you, so it means what color yung gagamitin natin. Okay. So, what is, what kind of color na gagamitin natin? Okay. So, is it blue? Is it green? Okay. Is it yellow? Then, okay. Is it orange? Or, uh, is it red? Okay. Pero, kapag, uh, yung design natin is uh, gray skills, yeah. okay. so, it means walang value na ano, na, na U talaga. So, it, it means, yung U na blend modes, hindi mag effect sa kanya. Okay, so yan lang yung tanda. So dapat meron ka ng value or something meron ka na dapat na kulay. Okay, so para mag effect lang yung yuna blend modes. Okay, so it means kapag change ko ito into saturations, okay, so wala nang yayari. Okay, until such time, so wala nang value yung ano, yung saturations. So it means ibabalik yun into normal na lang. Okay, pero kapag adjust ko yung bright na, ah, yung, yung ano, yung saturations niya into extreme or something dull. So, walang effects dyan. Okay? Kasi, yung blend modes natin is good for you lang. Okay? Same din doon sa brightness. Okay? Kapag adjust natin yung brightness, so, wala nangyayari. Okay? So, yung effects is good for color lang. Okay? So, kapag gusto nyo palitan naman yung like for example, yung saturation naman. Okay? Balik ko muna kay new. Okay? So, like, for example, okay, yung blend mode natin ngayon is nakasaturation tayo. Okay, so, like, for example, so, gusto nyo palta ng kulay. Okay, so, okay, so, baka mag-expect kayo na papalit yung kulay. So, okay, so, hindi yan papalit. Okay. So, kasi yung blend mode natin is nakasaturation tayo. It means nag-apply lang kapag nandito tayo ka saturation. Okay. So, it means pwede ko siyang gawin dull. Okay. Okay. Dull. Or something extreme yung kulay. Okay. Using saturation of blend. Okay. So, it means yung yung effect is only for saturations. Hindi sa you. Okay. So, hindi sa kulay. Okay. Walang effect niya. Okay. The next is we have color. Okay. 
So kanina sabi natin kay new. So kapag walang value, so hindi mag-apply yung new. Okay. So dito naman kay kay color. Okay. So like for example, we have okay, balik ko into normal. Okay. Fill, percent fill. Okay. So ito kanina si you. Okay. Dito lang nag-apply yung effects doon sa may ano, sa may kay meron ng kulay. Okay. Then if I choose color. Okay, so ito yung pinaka different nila. So kahit wala kahit grayscale pa yan, kahit uh, black and white pa yan, okay, kahit may kulay pa yan, so magi-affect yung color. Okay, so it means kapag yung design mo is the uh, uh, ano ng ng black and white then gusto mong mag-add ng kulay. So you can use naman uh, color na blend mo. Okay? The next we have luminosity. Okay. So actually uncommon naman ito. Okay. So mostly ginagamit yung luminosity kapag uh, kapag example you have a design that one then naging okay, change ko yung mode. Okay. Image then mode. Papalitan ko ng grayscale. Okay. So don't merge. Lang. And then don't rasterize lang. Okay, so nagiging grayscale, nagiging black and white siya, something grayscale. Then apply ko yung ano. Okay. So add ako ng solid color. Oops, sir. Try na. Then this one, okay. So mag-apply ako ng Ah, sir. Ito pala. Balik ko dito. So, dito pala ako. So, black and white na adjustment. Okay. Okay. So, kasi dito, meron siyang <clears throat> okay. So, meron siyang presets. Okay. Or meron siyang slider. Okay. So, dito sa adjustment na black and white. Okay. So, uh, kapag pinalitan ko ng luminosity. Okay. Okay. Automatically, ibabalik yan into uh, ano na into uh, into normal normal na ano FX ng image natin kanina. Kasi yung maganda, okay. So we have options na. Okay. So we can add something red. Okay. So we can add something yellow. Okay. Like for example, ka add kayo ng red. Okay. Then you can add okay something blue. Uh, I mean you can adjust something blue. Okay. based sa the design na gusto niyo. Okay. So, yung blue, okay. then we got okay. something violet, okay. Okay. something yellow, okay. Yan yung, yan yung, ano, yung effects ni luminosity. So, again, so, so luminosity is, makikita nyo yung, ano, yung effects kapag uh, gumagamit kayo ng, ano, ng, ng black and white na, ano, na adjustment. So, mostly, I mean, mostly dyan ginagamit yung, yung luminosity, okay. Sige, so, I guess, is, no boss ko na no something na na na, na, na no boss ko na na ano na na na, na, na explain yung ano yung yung lahat na ano na blended modes so we have we have 27 blend modes uh, so we have normal dark and groups light and groups we have contrast inversion cancellation at saka yung components then again so yung ano lang yung pinaka common na ginagamit talaga so we have multiply we have uh, screen, we have overlay, then we have supply. Okay, so yung next natin, okay, so sabi ko kanina, so gagawa ko ng isang photo manipulations. Then, uh, try ko na gamitin yung lahat ng ano, ng ng ng, uh, ng diniscuss natin na ano, na doon, mula doon sa ano, sa first na webinars. Yung basic tools, okay. Then yung, ano, yung adjustment, yung uh, layer style, then uh, yung uh, blending, ano, yung blending mode. So, ito yung pinaka-focus talaga natin. So, dito is, uh, dito makikita natin yung ano, yung ga gano talaga, ka, ano, ka, ka, ka importante yung blending modes. Okay. Sige, so, okay, so, ipipilisan na natin. Okay, so, magpapile open ako dito. So, meron na akong, ano, materials dito, actually. Okay. So, we got that one. Okay. 
So, gagawa ko ng eye photo, photo, mani, photo manipulations. So, first is mag-open ako. Ah. So, mag-import ako ng ano, ng itong image. Online ko ito yung import. Okay. <clears throat> Then, next is file place embedded. Okay. Mag-import ako ng another na ano, na layer. Okay. Just one. Okay. So, next is yung dalawang layer na ito. So, try ko na ano, na ibiblend. Okay. So, yung ano ko, yung objectives ko. So, gusto ko ano, yung yung pagbe-blend nila is medyo um, uh, mataas lang yung contrast okay so select ko yung top na layer yung blend na layer na ito okay then apply ako ng blending modes so nandito siya sa itaas ng layer natin then ito yung contrast group so we have overlay we have soft light we have hard light we have vivid light okay so try natin yung overlay so dito is actually kapag beginner ka kapag ano kapag kapag medyo baguhan ka. So based doon kanina sa ano sa inexplain ko na 27 blink. So I guess medyo ano talaga, medyo syempre mahirap na ano na na memorize or something uh, kabisu uh, something uh, ganyan yung uh, mahirap na memorize yung ano yung lahat na ano na, na functions ng 27 blink. Okay, so yung gagawin natin is mag-explore tayo, mag-experiment tayo. Okay. So again so yung purpose ko is yung ano yung contrast okay. So pwede akong gumamit ng overlay. Okay. Kaso kapag uh, nasa overlay ako dito. Okay. So yung yung ano ko talaga yung gusto ko is parang uh, medyo realistic yung ano. Parang nakikita yung talaga yung ano yung mga crack dito. Okay. So try natin yung soft light. Okay, so si overlay is parang ano, parang okay naman pero parang kulang pa rin sa akin. Okay. So try natin muna sa soft light. Okay, so soft light is parang uh, medyo mild yung effects niya compared kay overlay. So hindi natin parang hindi parang medyo hindi pas pasado sa ano, sa gusto ko. Okay, so ito so we got hard light. Okay, so ito yung gusto ko. Okay, pero try natin yung yung iba na contrast. Okay. So we have vivid light. Okay, okay naman yung vivid light. Okay. Pero parang extreme yung ano, yung yung kulay nito. So we have linear light, okay? So parang okay, so parang malayo na doon sa ano. So okay sa itaas pero sa sa ibaba is parang okay, parang hindi na ano, masyadong maganda. So we have pen light, okay? So okay, so parang hindi na okay. Okay, parang kapag hard mix is parang talagang ano na talaga, extreme talaga, okay? So we got vivid light then We have a hard light. Okay. So, dito lang ako ay hard light. Okay. Parang natural yung effects niya. Compare kay vivid light. Okay. Yan. Okay. So, we got that one. So, kita yung cracks. Okay. Compare doon kay overlay. Okay. Then, next is gusto ko yung design ko ay yung photo manipulation is medyo dramatic. So, yung gagawin ko is uh, from color, from RGB na ano, na color mode. So, gagawin ko siyang something uh, black and white. something naka grayscale so para medyo dramatic yung ano natin yung photo photo manipulation natin okay so from image from top okay so punta ko doon sa mode okay then change ko lang into grayscale okay so don't flatten kasi kapag flatten yung ano ko yung kiniklik ko so emerge yung dalawang layers ko okay so ayaw ko niyan okay so may gagawin pa ako mamaya dito sa ano sa isang layer okay so don't flatten lang okay then Okay, changing modes ka na pek. Okay, so sabi niya gusto ko daw i-rasterize. Kasi so, kasi yung isang layer is <clears throat> naka-smart object. Okay, so ayaw ko din. Okay, so, gusto ko naka-smart object lang muna. Okay, so don't rasterize. Then, okay, so discard. Okay, yan na. So naging, ano na siya, naging uh, grayscale na sa something naka, something naka black and white na. Okay, so gagamit ako ng layer mask. Okay, then, dito sa layer mask sabi natin so parang uh, eraser tool ito yung ano niya yung purpose niya yung nagre-react lang on the into two colors we have black and white okay kapag black okay so ito yung nangyayari so okay so parang uh, ini-erase niya yung yung area na gusto ko okay using brush tool Okay, so, doon sa brush tool naman, so, ito yung sizes natin. Okay, then yung hardness ko. Okay, taset lang ng zero. Okay, para yung transition ng dalawang image ko. Okay, para, para hindi obvious. Okay. okay, para maganda yung effects. Okay, that one.
Ay. Oops, sorry. Okay, that one. Oops, sorry. Okay, change line to white. Gusto kong, ano, balikan yung area. Ito yung maganda kapag, ano, clear mask ko. Okay. Okay, that one. Okay, the next, okay, gagamit ako ng ellipse. Okay, so, lalagyan ko ng, ano, something, okay, naka, something naka-overlay dito. Or something naka, naka, naka-blend dito. Dito sa mata. Okay. Okay. Then change ko into orange. Okay. So we have no color. Okay. So nangyayari kasi yung mode natin is naka grayscale tayo. So babalik ko lang into RGB na color mode. Okay. So again, image. Okay. So select ko muna ito. Yung layer. Okay. Then we have image. Okay. Then we have mode. Then balik ko lang into RGB. Okay. Then don't flatten again. Then this time. So... Okay, so I guess final naman ako dito. So, rasterize ko na lang. Okay? Then, yung ellipse. Okay. Oops, sorry. Image mode. Okay, so delete ko muna. Try natin ulit. Okay. So, ay, sorry. Naka-saturation pala. Okay, so select ko yung U. Okay, so dapat kapag gumagamit ng, ano, ng Photoshop. So, dapat kabisado lang natin kasi minsan nakala natin so uh, iba yung error kaso pala mali lang yung na-select natin okay sige so gagamit ako ng gradient ng layer style okay double click okay gagamit ako ng color overlay okay then dito change ko ng ah, sorry gradient overlay okay then dito okay na ako dito okay sa so, preset na ito so we have light orange at saka dark orange okay So, sa kulay, sa pagpili ng kulay, so, always take note lang. Okay? Kung gusto nyo ng magandang kulay, so, palo nyo lang yung, ano, yung color harmonist. Okay? Yung color theory. Okay? So, we have monochromatic, uh, analogous, triadic. Yan. Yan yung basis namin. Okay? So, press ko lang okay. Then, yung blend mode. Okay? So, okay? So, from all, from normal. Okay? So, we'll choose color lang. So, para mag-apply yung, ano, yung color ng gradient. Okay? Press ko lang okay. Oops, sorry. Then dito, okay. so at the same time, from normal, so syempre dapat change ko lang, change ko din into color, okay? Oops, sorry. Okay, yan. So we got that one. Okay, so erase ko lang yung area na nasa, na, nasa, ano, nasa gilid dito. Okay. Yung gagawin ko is gagamit ako ng pen tool. Okay. So, gagawa muna ako ng panibagong layer. Gamit ako ng pen tool. Okay. So, uh, bakit pen tool? Kasi gusto ko yung sharp. Okay. Gusto ko yung, ano, yung precise talaga na, ano, na, 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 na pagkating dito. Compare okay. mo doon sa eraser. So, medyo mahirap yun. Okay. One. Then, click ko yung selections. Uh, to make it selections. Then, balik ako dito. Sa layer na yun. Okay. O, dalawa. Okay. Uh, dito. Okay. Sa ginawa kong filter. Okay. Okay, sorry. Dalawa. Okay. So, gamit ako ng layer mask. Okay. Then, control I ko lang. Oops, sorry. Control I ko lang. Okay. So, delete ko muna ito. So, nagiging dalawa siya. Okay. Control I ko lang. Okay. Ito na. So, again. So, gamit ako ng pen tool. Okay. Okay. Click ko muna yung bagong layer. Okay. Gamit ako ng pen tool. Adjust ko lang. May holding alt. So, ma-adjust ko naman yung curves. Okay. One. One. Okay. Then next, I will click selection. I will make it selections. Okay. Then, kapag selection na, so, click ko lang yung layer mask ng ellipse na ito. Then, yung gagawin ko is ah, uh, Uh, click ko lang yung ano uh, yung control by holding control then by pressing i okay invert yan doon sa layer mask okay yan okay very yan okay the next okay import ako ng panibagong okay image this one okay so lagay ko na siya sa itaas okay Okay, delete ko muna ito. Okay, so we have ellipse. Okay. Sabihin natin, ito yung eye. Okay, eye color. 
change ko lang. Para hindi tayo yung mataranta. Ito yung okay. <clears throat> so, ay, hindi siya man ito. Okay. So, ipapasok ko siya doon sa image. Okay. So, yung purpose ng image na ito, yung gagawin ko is ipapasok ko doon uh, dito sa ellipse na shape ko. Okay? So, paano gagawin? Okay? So, medyo complicated ito actually. Okay? So, hide ko siya muna. Okay? Then, by holding control dito, dito na layer. Okay? So, sa so select yan yung shape ng ellipse ko. Okay? So, kaso yung problema. So, gusto ko is kapit lang na sana dito. Sa ano talaga? Sa, 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 sa shape ng ano? Ng shape? ng 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 <clears throat> ng ginawa kong uh, uh, something uh, eye color okay so ang gagawin ko okay so apply ko yung layer mask okay okay naka disable yung layer mask so it means from shape so we have to rasterize muna yung layer okay then next right click ako dito so yan na so pwede ko na apply yung layer mask okay Then, kapag na-apply na yung layer mask, okay, so it means na-erase na yung talaga yung mga area na dito. Okay, so by holding control, yan. So, automatically, so, repeat na yung selection ko. So, ito yung pinaka-best, um, or ito yung pinaka-madali na, ano, na process kapag gusto nyo yung select yung edge ng layer. Okay, so compare doon kapag gumamit pa ako ng pentan. Medyo, ano na, medyo baka obvious yun tayo doon sa, ano, sa pentan. Okay, then, Anahid ko ito, yung, <clears throat> yung ipapasok ko na, ano, na image doon sa shape ko. Select ko ito, okay? Then, next is magda-duplicate ako, okay? So, may pressing control G, okay? So, delete ko na yung original na image, okay? Okay, so yung nangyari, so nag-duplicate siya based doon sa selection ng area ng ng image na na set ko. Okay? Then next is, okay, mag-apply na ako ng blend modes, okay? So, apply ako ng color overlay, okay? Yan, okay? So, titingnan natin, parang realistic na siya. Okay? Oops, the front. <clears throat> Then next, import file, place and bevet. Okay? Hi pa ito. That one. Okay. So, lagay ko lang siya doon sa itaas. Then ito, apply ako ng blending modes. Okay. So, same din. So, gusto ko yung uh, merong contrast. Okay. Medyo mataas yung contrast. Okay. Ayaw ko ng light. Okay. Ayaw ko lang. Ayaw ko din ng dark. Okay. So, okay sa akin yung overlay. Okay. So, flight. Okay. But pinaka best talaga yung hard light. Okay. Dito ako sa hard light. Okay. Then next is, okay, gamit ako ng layer mask, okay, gamit ako ng brush tool. Yung hardness ko is, nakaset lang into zero. Okay? So it means, gusto ko yung smooth na brush. Then yung size to, okay, so depende sa inyo, okay. So yung color ko, so it means black. Okay, so yung gusto ko mag-erase, okay, adjust ko lang yung size, okay. Okay, that one. Okay, that one, okay. Kunti yan, kunti lang. Okay? Oops. Ay, sa the front. Ay, then dito, parang kulang yung kai. Gusto ko yung naka-emphasize yung pupil. Okay, gamit ako ng ay, ng ellipse. Okay, so gawa ko dito ng ellipse. By holding shift key, so it means makagawa ko ng proportion ng ellipse. Okay, apply ako ng layer style. Okay, by double click into the layer. Then, <clears throat> apply ako ng drop shadow. Okay. So, too much. Adjust lang yung drop shadow. Yung direction ng drop shadow. Okay. Then, the best yung blend, in, yung blend mode kapag uh, nakamultiply. Doon sa drop shadow. Okay. Para realistic yung effects. Okay. So, we got 70. Okay. Okay na ako dyan. <clears throat> Bye.
the next is gamit ako ng ano okay ng another na blend mode okay so kung titingnan natin yung image ay uh, so yung highlights is parang masyado yung ano yung highlights uh, so add ako ng ano ng panibagong layer gamit ako ng brush tool okay then ay okay. gamit ako ng sublight okay oops sir change ko lang into black okay Oops, sorry. Ang ganda yung mode, change ko lang into soft light. Okay. So, sabi natin kanina, si soft light is parang mild version ni ni overlay. Okay. So, it means kapag uh, it's because nabilang siya doon sa, ano, sa contrast group. Okay. So, it means yung mga dark portion. Sorry. Adjust ko lang yung opacity. Okay. So, I guess 30. Okay. Yung something realistic. Okay. okay. So, mga dark version na dito. Okay. So, it means medyo bibigyan niya ng contrast. Okay. So, like, kagaya ng ano, ng point ko. Okay. So, dito, you can adjust naman yung opacity. Okay. Oops. Hindi akong gumamit ng eraser kapag sobra na. Okay. So, naka-emphasize din na ito. Okay. Adjust ko lang yung opposite ng 60%. Oops, sir. Dito. Wala. Okay. Okay. Let's talk dyan. <laughs> okay. Then next, apply ako ng panibagong image. Okay. Ito. Yung butterfly. Okay. Lagay ko lang dito. Okay. Gamit ako ng quick selection tool. Okay. Ito yung pinaka-mabilis na na tool may account sa selection. Okay. So, select ko lang yung subject. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Okay. That one. Okay. So, select and mask. Okay. Adjust ko lang yung smoothness, yung edge. Okay. Somehow, okay na ako dyan. Okay. Kasi contrast. Okay. Somehow, okay na ako dyan. Okay. Then, wag lang kalimutan yung output natin dapat nakaset. Okay. Into, okay. Depende sa inyo. Pero para sa akin, ito yung pinaka best. New layer with layer mask. Okay. Press ko lang yung okay. Okay. Okay, so by pressing control T, so patid ko lang. Ito one. Okay. Then, okay. When it comes to clear mask tayo, so pwede natin erase dito. Sobra. Okay, so 100% lang. Okay, then apply ako ng, okay, ng curves dun sa adjustment. Then, dito, apply ako ng, sorry, gawin ko lang clipping mask para dito lang mag-apply sa selected na layer ko. Okay. Then, apply ko ng overlay. Okay. So, ito yung kanina. So, nag-add lang ko ng contrast. Okay. Then, next. Okay. So, apply lang ako ng point tool. Okay. Dito. Okay. Adjust lang ako. Okay. Lagyan ko lang ng shadow. To make it real. Oops. Parang, parang sobra. Okay. So, you can adjust naman yung exposure. Like, for example, kung too much... Okay, adjust nyo lang ito 50%. Okay. Okay, good. Ako dyan. Then next is, okay, gusto nyo talagang realistic. Okay, so you can use naman lasso tool. Okay, for example, select ko lang ito. Okay, lagyan ko ng crack. Okay. Sorry. Ito. Okay, edit. Okay, so okay, good. Select. Okay. Ay, that one. Ay, so, control G lang. It means, nag-duplicate ako based dun sa, select, sa selected area ko. Ay, so, normal ko lang. Ay, so, balik ko dito. Ay, so, yung gagawin ko, ay, dito, sa ginawa kong stone 
na selection. Control T ako dyan. Okay. Hold pala ako ng control. Okay. Select ko siya ulit. Okay. Then dito. Uh, so wall. Uh, Magpapaint lang ako ng black. Gusto okay. niya talaga make it real. Okay. So okay. something. Yan. Oh, shadow. Okay. Then balik ko ito. Okay. Then dito. Control T ako. Oh, sorry. Ano yung bago kong stone. Control T ako dyan. And that one. Lay ako ng layer style. Okay. Lay ako ng trap shadow. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Test ko lang yan. Okay. So, higyan ko lang dyan. Okay. So, para medyo may fast size sya. Kagamit ako ng dodge tool. Okay. Then. Boing tool. Okay. So, again. Dodge tool. Gusto ko yung color. Okay. Good. Then, next. Okay. So, for finalizing. Okay. So, add ako ng another tool. Gawin ko lang uh, gawin ko lang yung 50% yung brush. Okay. Brush ako dito. Oops. Too much. Hello. Okay. And adjust yung opacity. Okay. Oops. Okay. So. Okay. So I guess ito na siya. So with the use of <clears throat> blending modes. Okay. So kita nyo man kung gano. Okay. Importante yung ano. Yung blending modes. So, kung wala yung blending modes, so I guess hindi tayo makagawa ng ganitong output na ito. Yung ganitong photo manipulations. Okay? So, again, ito yung isa sa mga sekreto ng mga graphic designer kapag gumagawa ng design. Okay? So, I guess uh, that's all for my presentations. Miss Ellie? All right, thank you so much, Sir Ian. It was uh, really fun, and it seems like very addicting to experiment uh, different blend modes. Right, Sir Ian? I so, <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite blend mode, sir? Ah, yung uh, sinabi ko kanina, so I got, uh, actually lahat naman sila, ano eh, na, ng nang ginagamit ko naman. So, pero yung common talaga yung apat. Yung multiply, yung screen, then yung overlay, yung soft light. Yung apat. All right. So, anyway, we have a lot of questions posted in our <laughs> office forum link. But are you ready? <laughs> okay, first question. Can you explain the importance of using the blend modes? Okay, so, ito, so, uh, based dito sa, ano, sa ginawa kong, ano, yung, itong photo manipulations. So, mostly talaga kapag, ano, kapag, kapag gusto nyo yung something realistic, yung, ano, yung, yung effects, yung pagbe-blend, yung pagkukombine nyo ng, ano, ng, ng, ng dalawang image, uh, yung talagang pinakasakrito is with the use of blend modes. Right. So, second question that we have, question number two, do we need to follow some principles in using blend modes? Okay, so, sabi ko kanina, so actually, yung 27 blend modes is, kung titingnan nyo, is medyo mahirap talaga yung, ano, yung, yung, yung una, yung una na, ano, na pag, 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 paggamit ni ito. Mostly, yung, ano, yung, yung ginagawa ko, pagbaguhan, pag uh, bago pa ako ng ano ng ng paggamit ng Photoshop. Nag-experiment ako. Alright. Ng ano. So pinakita ko naman uh, sa inyo kung paano ano paano mag-experiment with the use of blend modes. Like for example, kung yung purpose mo is yung contrast, okay? So pinaka best talaga yung ano, yung contrast at saka yung yung blend modes. Then doon sa contrast groups, so you have to uh, try to experiment talaga kung saan ba talaga yung ano yung yung gusto mo na ano na output pa, na result yeah right because it seems like if you wanted to get a perfect 
effect of the image. You really need to experiment different blend modes, right? So, yeah. mm -hmm. Question number three. We have. Right. <laughs> you seem so tired already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, a few more questions to go, say Ian. So number three, what will be our reference in using the color mode? How will we know that we are combining the correct colors? Okay, so una, sige, wait pa. Unahin natin yung, ano, yung reference. color modes. Ay, mm -hmm. uh, yung reference dun sa color mode. So actually, it's depended yan sa sa target nyo na ano na design. So sabi ko kanina, so yung purpose ko is something dramatic yung gusto ko. Okay? So yan ginawa ko ano, something black and white. Okay? So same din sa ano sa sa uh, ibang uh, ano sa ibang type of design. Po. So check nyo muna po yung ano talaga yung 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 target na design nyo po bago kayo ano bago kayo gumamit ng ano ng color mode. Then, yung ikalawa, ano yung kalawas ni Sally? How will we know that we are combining the correct colors? Okay, so sabi ko kanina, so ano, ng, ng, kasi meron tayong tinatawag na ano, na color theory or something color harmonist. Okay, so we have monochromatic, we have analogous, we have triatic, we have uh, complementary, we have split com complementary. Pero kapag ano, kapag medyo hindi mo pa, pa parang hindi ka pa familiar diyan doon sa ano, sa color harmonies. Malalaman mo naman 'yan eh. Kapag yung kulay talaga is parang pleasing doon sa ano, sa, sa mata mo or something parang kapag titingnan mo is parang irritated ka. So, so it means kapag irritated ka doon sa kulay mo, so it means yung combination ng kulay mo is hindi maganda. All right. So Okay. Last question that we have, we won't hold you any longer. We will just entertain four because I know you a bit tired already. Why do you think blend modes are considered to hold power when interacting the colors of layers during the editing? Okay, so actually para sa akin, is, ito talaga yung ano, yung... So aside on sa ano, kasi iti... Uh, kung titingnan natin so ano so maraming process or something maraming method kapag nagdi-design tayo so yung ano lang talaga is kung saan kayo comfortable pero uh, para sa akin eh, so talaga yung ano yung uh, i can consider na ano na, na powerful yung ano yung 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 blend modes doon sa pag pag pagbe-blend uh, especially with uh, pagbe-blend ng colors Uh, especially within ano within uh, within two layers. So kung titingnan natin yung ano yung effects especially dito. Okay? So dito is parang kung titingnan natin is parang realistic yung ano yung yung output or something yung result ng kulay. Okay? Uh, compare kapag gumamit tayo ng adjustment or something uh, uh, ibang method. Uh, I guess makakaya naman pero yung pinaka-efficient, yung pinakamadali talaga yung ano yung paggamit ng ng blend modes po. Yeah, right. Um, right. Thank you so much, uh, Sir Ian. I know uh, they have learned a lot uh, from your presentation. And uh, actually, it is very fun. And I tried it. It seems like very addicting to change uh, different uh, modes. Thank you so much, Sir Ian. Oh, yes, Thank you. All right, and uh, we are very excited to what are you going to share next to uh, a webinar. So we would like to also thank Dr. Norberto Mondero of Council Talisay and to our attendees from Malay Balay Bukid Noon, Makati City, Tagig, uh, Binyan, Laguna, Palayan City, Nueva Ecija, and of course to all Negrenses joining us and supporting our webinars. Before we end, this afternoon webinar we will have a lot of questions getting about about getting their digital certificate so i hope you already filled out the attendance form because we close it an hour after the start of the webinar or let's say three in the afternoon so that is one of the requirements for you to get a digital certificate second you need to accomplish our evaluation form All right, evaluation form. Right now, the QR code is being flashed on your screen. Kindly 
scan the QR code or find the link in our description box so you can directly click on that link and you will be redirected to the form where you can immediately fill out the evaluation form all right so don't forget to do the evaluation and i hope you have also filled out the attendance earlier so you can get the digital certificate also let me remind everyone that we do not uh, produce or give away presentations because you can actually watch the video or the webinars all over again because it is already posted on our facebook page and even on our youtube channel so you can uh, just go back if you came in late you can always go back and uh, watch it again now whichever time you may want okay please uh, let me remind you to type in your name correctly as we will no longer cater change of certificate due to wrong spelling of names also be careful with the spelling of your email address so it won't bounce back in addition be careful with the lowercase and the uppercase of your email address because our system is case sensitive so if you have the capital letter on the first of your email address please do it in it coded properly okay the evaluation site will be opened until six in the evening again it will just be open until six o'clock so do it right now if it is possible so there you have it ladies and gentlemen this concludes our visual graphic design webinar for 27 blend modes of adobe photoshop cc don't miss out on our animation webinar four or a webinar five on may 10 that's background design see you using the same platform that you are using right now if you have registered definitely you will receive our reminder email for the next webinar so that's all for today stay healthy and stay safe naughty inspire naughty cares advance negrense